Hey guys! So, uh, today is a lucky day. Uh, I am actually going to be wrapping my first test coil on the EPG. Uh, the first thing I want to ask, uh, very simply, is if you watch this video, leave a comment. Um, I'm doing a, a, an experiment. Doesn't matter what kind of comment, I don't care what it says. Just leave a comment. If you watch this video, leave a comment. So I should have an equal number of views and an equal number of comments, okay? That's the deal. You guys gotta do that. So, this is uh, the EPG winding and um, foot pedal, okay? This is simplicity at its finest. Alright, here is my foot pedal. Alright, this consists of some steel that was meant for a bracket, some bolts, some wires, and it's kind of hard to see, but that is a drill trigger switch out of a drill all right and uh, power in power out I'm no longer using my other controller this will be my foot pedal and uh, I think it's going to work just fine so there you go so uh, I got a lot to show you so let's get started oh uh, before I get started I want to tell you this is a uh, 25 amp 20 or yeah 25 amp 12 to 24 volt DC uh, controller. It is out of a DeWalt. Um, just so you guys know, the amperage on that is pretty high. So, all right. All right. I have not tested this yet, but I also wanted to show you guys what I did here. This is a um, piece of. Uh, actually, this is a spoke out of one of the bigger wheels. I had to cut a bigger one, and I just mounted it here. Okay. And what this is going to do is allow my wire to be directed into one spot and keep it focused into that one spot all right I haven't tested this so you guys gotta you'll get to see me actually test it but that's all it is and uh, I think it's gonna work pretty well all right as far as my uh, spool bobbin holder is concerned um, this is what I came up with for a spring this is actually a uh, coat hanger seems to be working pretty well and uh, what I have here are some uh, uh, rings out of a hard drive and they're the actual rings that hold the uh, um, plates apart, all right, inside that hard drive. And I'm putting one on the outside of this spring, two on the inside of this spring, and that's a little like a slip ring for me. And then two more on the other side of the spool. And this, what, why I have a spring on here, is a compression. What I want is to have tension on this spool so that it doesn't slip freely and I'll have enough tension on here to uh, wrap my coils tight that's the reason behind doing that alright so I know some of you had questions about how the toroid gets put onto the core uh, for the uh, everything to work right so I'm going to show you that as well alright the first thing I'll show you is how I'm going to put this on here how the spindle fits together so this is exactly how it fits together. I got two washers on that side, two washers on this side, and I'll probably end up machining something a little wider, bigger, flatter, better, and um, I can get some compression bearings as well. This is just what I came up with for now. And uh, slide this on here like this. Now that spring holds tension on there. And uh, tighten these bolts up, and I'm going to go ahead and do that so that you guys, uh, I don't waste any film because I'm going to run out here. Alright, so uh, there you can see how I've put that together, and it does have quite a bit of tension on it, which is uh, really, really what I want. So it looks like it's going to be really tight, and that'll work out great for me. Now I'm going to show you guys how I am putting this rim over the toroid and how the O-band goes on there. Okay, so for those of you who are wondering how this works, there is a plate that holds this rim together, which I'm gonna take off right now. I, done, I already took the O-band off. All right, so I'm gonna take this plate off and now this rim has a slit cut in it. You can see right there. And I'm literally just going to take this EPG and uh, just bend this rim sideways a little 
slide this on here. And now I've just entered this toroidal core inside of the, uh, the ring. Okay, and next comes the O-band. So I'll put these screws back here and this coupling back together. This holds that rim in place. Okay. Now, last time I did this, it wasn't very straight. So, after I get this thing kind of running, I may need to straighten it up. So that's how, I know some of you were wondering, but that's how it goes in there. So now I have a ring in a ring. Okay. Now the O band, as I showed you guys before, has a teeny tiny coupling on it. All right. <clears throat> now this works. Is this O band is going to go around here four times? So I'm just going to loop this through here four different times. So I got one, two, three, and four. And I'm going to connect this O band together just as described like so and I gotta get all these nice and straight okay now I just put an O-band around the toroid and I am gonna put a piece of tape over those screws the reason I do that is so that the O-band doesn't get caught on those screws I already got all the screws in the system taped up, just this one I need. Okay, and slip this O-band right here on the bottom. And that's it. Now I have a ring and a ring and an O-band on there. It actually uh, works out very well. So I'm just going to pick a coil here right in the middle. You can see how this uh, plate here, I mean the, the wire guide, just runs right around there, exactly the way I want it. Alright, I'm going to get this set up a little bit different so you can see maybe a little better. I'm going to get my foot pedal hooked up. Alright, so I've got my foot pedal switched up, switched up, hooked up. Here it is. I'm going to be standing during this first operation, and uh, I just... Uh, push against it like that and I got full speed control from uh, real slow all the way to full speed now this thing is still really unbalanced um, but that's okay I'm gonna give it a shot here <clears throat> okay guys I think that's an okay shot for you I did check the rotation I wanted to make sure the rotation was proper uh, because I want it to be the same direction just for uh, purposes of you know keeping things consistent now this little wire does kind of flop around a little my wire guide uh, so it's possible that I may need to tie that down looks like it's going to work pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and wrap on the, the side here and uh, I think I'm going to wrap twice I really need to mark my wood here so I stay in the center. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to mark my wood one second. Okay guys, I told you I had a height control on these two plates um, to where I can uh, tell it exactly uh, the height that I want it to be. So I made an adjustment and uh, tightened it down here. It looks real good. So what I'm going to do is put my first starting wrap on there <clears throat> okay I'm gonna take this kind of slow uh, 
and uh, just kind of see how this machine runs because I have no idea how much tensions on this wire I am going to grab my safety glasses safety first guys always safe understand all right so let's let it rip baby I'm excited about this I'm extremely tired work 12 hours today I gotta work another 12 tomorrow so I don't really look very excited but believe me I'm excited so let's see what happens out of my range there. Y'all be careful about that one. Alright guys, I'm going to check it here about my dimensions that actually looks pretty good I uh, show you here what it looks like so there you go um, it's nice and tight that's for sure uh, the tensioner I mean everything uh, I like get you a good shot everything seems to go pretty good there so uh, I want to do a, a quick little study and see if uh, it's the way I like it and if it is we'll uh, get a measurement alright guys so I just cut this off and uh, this is on the four pipe so the three pipe should actually be shorter now what I did is I measured this spool it had uh, 246 feet on it it actually looks like there's about half that left which is about what I averaged I averaged 250 foot so we'll see what's left and take that off and uh, I'll let you know Ooh, all right. It looks like, if I calculated correctly, 222 foot. So I'll probably end up doing 225 feet, and uh, that'll get me where I want to be. I think I just said 225. I meant 125 foot. Uh, I wrapped 122. I think I said that right. If not, oh well. All right, guys. Quick calculation: 10,000 foot. Um, that's for 83 coils. Now that is, I wrapped a four piper, and um, the three piper will actually probably be different. So, yeah. So there you go. Uh, I actually will be unwinding this. Uh, this was a test coil, and this is test wire from uh, recycled equipment. And um, yeah. So there's the first demo coil. I'll uh, wrap probably the rest of that spool on the three piper here and uh, see what happens. So, there you go. I think I might be out of time. Don't forget, leave a comment on this video. Whether you watch it and like it or hate it, well, it doesn't matter. Leave a comment. So, I know I don't look very excited, but I'm excited. I've had a long day today, a long day tomorrow, and uh, lots going on. So, I still got stuff to do tonight before I go to bed. Got to get up in about four hours and go to work. So, that's it. RWG Research, peace out, and uh, rock on. Alright guys, let me know what you think. See ya!